Hello, welcome to this tutorial from the Roland DG Academy on how to use the nesting function within Roland VersaWorks. If I open VersaWorks, here we can see that I have five different jobs located within my queue. We can see how these jobs are laid out within this preview on the right hand side of the screen here. By default, all of the images will be located along the left hand side of this preview, and this is the way that they would be printed with each image coming out of the printer on the right hand side closest to the print head. This means that all of this white space over here would be unused or wasted media. The nesting tool will allow me to collate these different images together so that we can utilize this sp space to our advantage. Now I can make changes to any of these files before nesting them together or after nesting them together. So I'm just going to make a couple of changes beforehand so that we can see how I can do this before the nesting and after. First of all, I'm going to open this BN20 sticker sheet. I'm going to choose to change the scale, the rotation, and I'm going to make a number of copies. I'm just going to change that down to four copies. Now. I'm going to make one more further change to another file. So let's open up this image of the XR640. I'm just going to clip away some of the white space. There we are. Now, to nest the jobs together, I can either select the left button of my mouse and drag a selection over the different files to select them or I can hold down the control key of my keyboard and click on the jobs individually. Now that I have the jobs selected, I can choose the nesting icon at the bottom of the screen or go to the job menu along the top of the screen and select nest or I can even right click on the files and select nest that way. Now we can see within the queue here that all the jobs are located under one folder and it says nest job at the top. Also all of the files have located themselves within one file along the right hand side in this preview using up the previously unused white space. If I enter the job settings now we can see how they've arranged themselves on the page. I can still make any changes that I wish to to any of these images. As I make further changes, you'll see that the arrangement will change itself on the right hand side in the preview. You have the option to change the arrangement manually by just dragging files with your mouse. Where there's a blue box around the image, you will be able to move the image. If it's a red box, it won't be able to move there. You can also use VersaWorks to try different arrangements of your images. You can do this by using the Arrange Tiles icon on the top right hand side of the screen. When you're happy with the layout, we can then exit the job settings or we can make further changes such as changing the color management for each of the files. or adding marks or any other features that we like. So now I'm happy with the layout. I can exit my job settings and know that now I'm not going to be wasting any of the media as I was previously. Just a note that you also have the option to unnest the jobs and revert them back to being single jobs. To do that, you just hit the nest button again, which will unnest the jobs. And you'll notice that they still hold 
the individual job properties. That's it for how to use the nesting tool within Roland Verseworks. Thank you.